This is your CBSLA.com News Brief. Hello, I'm Paul Majors. Here's what's happening around Southern California. A Ventura County Sheriff's Sergeant was one of six people killed in a flash flood in Utah. Steve Arthur and his wife were hiking in Zion National Park when a series of flash floods hit the area. He was a 21-year veteran of the department. His wife is still missing. Construction crews are trying to save a San Gabriel home undermined by this week's heavy rain. The home is teetering over the Rubio Wash. The deluge also ruptured a sewer line, dumping nearly a half a million gallons of sewage into the wash. The Port of Long Beach is celebrating the completion of a new $90 million railway project. It's designed to move cargo and other shipments through the port much faster and relieve a bottleneck of truck traffic. Boyle Heights residents are relieved to see a new traffic signal at the intersection of Wabash Avenue and Pickett Street near Evergreen Elementary School. Parents say the intersection posed a safety risk for kids and families walking to school. For the latest on these stories and your news any time of the day, stay with CBSLA.com. I'm Jackie Johnson, a trough of low pressure moving through, and that's going to bring us some cooler weather. In fact, enjoy the next few days with highs into the 70s and 80s, because by this weekend, we are back into the triple digits inland and then a chance of rain by next week. I am Gina Miller with a look at sports. A huge performance from Dodger pitcher Alex Wood. He throws eight innings of shutout ball as the Dodgers beat the Rockies 2 0, while the Angels cannot get the job done tonight in Seattle as they lose to the Mariners 3 1. Remember, you can always find the latest scores on CBSLA.com. And that's your CBSLA.com news brief. Remember, we're always on. Click listen live on our webpage to hear KNX News Radio and our other stations live anywhere except in the basement at Timmy Carmody's house.